In this video, we'll learn about the different forms of integration. We need to learn what is meant by horizontal, vertical, and conglomerate integration. I'll start here. This image helps you visualize horizontal and vertical integration. Let me break it down for you. Horizontal integration includes the acquisition of or merger with firms in the same stage of the production process within the same industry. The example given in the image before is when a car manufacturer acquires another. Let's suppose an American car manufacturer acquires a Japanese car manufacturer. They are both in the same part of the production process and within the same industry. A firm may pursue such a strategy to increase its economies of scale as well as increase its market share. Lowering costs can make the firm more competitive and market share growth can provide it with greater control of its market. Next is forward vertical integration, which is the acquisition of, or merger with, firms further along the supply chain. An example could be a furniture manufacturer acquiring a retail furniture store. When I say supply chain, I'm referring to the process. A product follows from creation to final delivery to the consumer. The supply chain for furniture would include the people who provide the fabric and wood to the manufacturer that puts the furniture together and finally to the seller of the furniture who sells it directly to the consumer. If we go back to our car example, you'll see that forward vertical integration would include a car manufacturer acquiring a car importer. Let's say Honda produces cars in Japan and then purchases a car importing service in the US. That would be forward vertical integration. This allows a firm closer access to its end user and consumer, which could perhaps increase its understanding of its consumer base. Backward vertical integration is the acquisition of or merger with firms at earlier stages of the production process. This might include a car manufacturer purchasing a supplier of car parts. If a car manufacturer purchases a vehicle rim producer, that would be an example of backward vertical integration. Coming back to this image, a car manufacturer may purchase a supplier. It could be a variety of parts including paneling, electronics, airbags, or rims. The key thing to remember is that the integration is at an earlier stage of the production process. This is advantageous to firms as they can control their supply of materials which can provide greater flexibility in responding to customer needs. It also allows them the opportunity to more closely monitor supply quality. Conglomerate integration occurs when a firm acquires or merges with firms across different industries. One of India's largest conglomerates, the Tata Group, has interests in car production, teleservices, hotels, and beverages. You may ask what the point of such an integration would be. If a firm can diversify its interests across different industries, it reduces its exposure to risk. If a firm is solely in car production and car sales slow down, it may encounter financial difficulties. However, if there are other business interests performing well, it can limit the impact to the firm. Now you should have a much clearer picture of what is meant by these terms. Next, we will take a look at diversification and understand why firms may choose to offer a range of products. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or email me at enhancedtuition at gmail.com. That's us done for now, and I will see you in the next one.